Hi guys, so today I'm going to film my first product empties video. My first empties video in no particular order or anything like that because it's not over a month or over a particular period. It's just over when I filled this bag up, this pretty large Sephora bag. And now it's filled, so I wanted to show you. So before everything falls out, let's get started. First, I have this bottle of Keanu Aromatics. Alpha Beta Exfoliating Cleanser, which I repurchase all the time. It has Jehovah beads, and the beads that are in it is very gentle. They're not super large exfoliating beads. It smells like orange and lemon. It's very citrus smell, and I really like it. It's very gentle, and I always repurchase this. Next, I use these all the time as well. Uh, I get these at Target. Yes to cucumbers, facial towelettes, and I use these in my nighttime skincare routine, which I don't know if it'll be up yet, but when it is, I'll link it down below. And they're not my favorite thing because you can't use them on your eyes because it will sting, but it takes off makeup pretty well. I do wash my face after. But I've been using these for years, so I do like them. If you have other suggestions, though, for face wipes, let me know. I used up, also in my nighttime skincare routine, the Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. This is a pretty large bottle. I really like this stuff. Clears and cools, removes over 99% of dirt, and clears skin. I like this a lot, so I purchased another one. Not much to say about it. Uh, it's just a clear liquid. It suds up a little bit. There's no exfoliating in it. Uh, so I like this. Finally finished this. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. You've all heard about this. This is everything that it does. I want to get the keratin one, and I haven't done that yet, but they're kind of expensive. So when I use this religiously, it does work wonders on your hair, but I'm not so good about my hair. So I do want to look into getting the keratin one though. Then this, which is a holy grail product for me, the Daily Makeup Brush Cleaner from Sephora. It has antibacterial in it. You need this stuff. Like, for in-between brush applications on a daily use spot cleaner, you need this. It smells great, and like I said, it has antibacterial formula in it. Love, love, love this, and it's inexpensive at Sephora. This is Tea Tree Lavender Mint Moisturizing Shampoo, uh, Paul Mitchell. I really like how this smells. It smells exactly how it says Lavender Mint. And the scent is pretty strong, but once you're out of the shower, it doesn't linger that much, especially if you're putting other things on your hair. Uh, it's a pretty small bottle and it's kind of expensive but I do like it. Uh, it's a hydrating and calming shampoo. I did repurchase it and I use it. I alternate my shampoos, so I do like this though. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Removers for lids, lips, and lashes. I talk about this all the time. This is a holy grail product for me. I use it on my eyes. That's what it's for. Or your lips, if you have a lip stain on especially. They last me about a month. A little more, a little less, depending on how much makeup I'm wearing that month or some crazy mascara or whatever. But that's why I have so many. I wish they made a bigger container of this because it's $18 for 4.2 fluid ounces. So... I have a ton of these empty, like a ton, like I just said. So I'm not going to take them all out, or maybe I will just to show you. I think you believe me though, because now they're just going to fall everywhere. But Clinique, love this. You should try it. And I found some of them at Cosmetic Company Outlet once, so it's worth a try if you can find it there. I have another one of the Yesta Cucumbers Facial Towelettes, another one of the Daily Makeup Brush Cleaners. So that's why this is over a long period, like last year. Then my last couple products 
are all eye creams. So then I have the Clinique All About Eyes. It looks like this. I had this for so long and then I was like, I just have to use it up because I wanted to try different ones. It's super liquidy compared to other ones and I did like it, but there were other ones that I wanted to try and I liked better. Um, I didn't notice the difference in my eyes though, but if you have very dry eye area, this one is very moisturizing and it's very liquidy. The other one that I had was the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. Uh, I definitely need it to brighten, didn't need any depuffing situation, but this one is way thick. It's definitely more thick. Uh, it has brightening properties in it. I did like this one. I would repurchase this, but I hadn't because I moved on to the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment, which I have since repurchased. I do really like this one. I don't know. We'll see if I find something new, but I did repurchase this. This is also one of the thicker ones, probably in between the two that I just showed you, and I really like it. The Maracuja Sea thing and tart um, more natural kind of things but I do like this one this is my favorite one so far so uh, one more thing this is almost out I can kind of squeeze one little bit out of it but the Jack Black lip balm in natural mint SPF 25 I use this like all summer especially at the beach and it's just great especially overnight too and I like the mint flavor the best I have another one of these as well so that's everything. I hope you liked my empties video and I'll continue to do more as things pile up. I can't tell you when, but I'll do it when things are empty. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave video requests below and thank you guys for watching.